everyone and welcome to Thursday afternoon and our exciting Facebook Live. I'm really excited and more nervous than anything. Grab yourself a glass of wine, I just have a quick sip. Mm. And I shouldn't be drinking red because we are doing six different recipes in 10 minutes. The whole reason we are doing this is because I am determined that if you're this sort of person that gets a bag of chips, open it, opens it, pours it into a bowl, or you could do a little bit of a snack pack. Sorry about the noise there. What you do is you fold it down and put it like that. You've kind of got like a done for bowl. If that's your half time serving, I want to show you, you can do better. I know you can. I know you can do better. So, I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to prepare today. I'm going to do three different flavored popcorns. I'm going to do buffalo wings, which are actually just chicken nibbles. Don't get confused, it's just the American saying, but they're really nice. And a really nice mussel dish, which I have no idea where we got it from, but we used to do it like years ago, so it's really good. All in 10 minutes. Now, I haven't cheated. I have done what you could do and prepare in advance before your guests arrive, before the big all black game, so that come your 10 minute time, you are ready to go. First of all, I'm going to do three different flavor popcorns. The first flavor is going to have ground allspice, a bit of cayenne pepper, some cinnamon, and some ground cumin with a little bit of freshly, finely grated Parmesan cheese. The second, I am actually going to use our chili and lime sea salt. Now this is one of our new products that um, hopefully hasn't flown off the shelves, but it's, it's in a grinder, so it's so easy. We, we've also brought out just the Himalayan and chili, so if you're not into lime, you could use that as well. I'm not going to use that today, I'm going to use that because that is my cameraman's favourite. Uh, as you can see, it's disappearing quickly. And the next one I'm going to show you with the popcorn, remember, is how to use just our one of our blends. So th this is the butter chicken blend. And I reckon it'd be really nice with popcorn. You could also use another one, which I was going to make, but I actually don't think it'll be eaten in our household. And I've done stuff that we're going to eat for dinner. Make it easy. Popcorn's like a vegetable, right? Is in my box. Tonight anyway. You could actually do like a bit of icing sugar, a little bit of cinnamon, some vanilla pods, and put that all together, and you could mix it all up, as you will see, in the same, same way. So I guess I could have done it for pudding. Eh, anyway. The next thing I'm going to do is the buffalo wings. Now, this is quite involved. However, don't get scared of it. It's more soaking of stuff than it is making of stuff. So... For two to three hours, I actually soaked this in a mixture of milk and lemon juice, which made a cheaper version of a, of a buttermilk. Basically, it's kind of curdled milk, which just looks bleh. But what, what milk does is breaks down, or the um, using the lactose acid, it just starts to break down those fibers. So you're going to get a much softer meat. So the longer you can marinate it, you wouldn't want to do it overnight, but two to three hours is tops, like perfect. And then I have used a seasoning on it. Now, I had basically one and a half cups of plain flour, uh, no, a whole cup of corn flour, because corn flour is so much crunchier than plain flour. And then I've used this magic item, and I, I've got a professional here who's going to say it better than I do, but I say Ras El Hanout. Ras El Hanout. I can't roll my eyes, so... It sounds silly. Not, um, Ru not Russell Hanout. Not Russell Hanout. But anyway, yes, it's, a, it's, it's Moroccan. And hey, I nearly used the whole packet because it was three tablespoons. I also used a big tablespoon of salt, ground it really fine in my flour. So I had those two with my two different types of flours in a bag like this. Chuck the chicken around one piece at a time because sharing's caring. And, uh, and I am going to deep fry that very soon. 
the last but not least thing oh sorry actually before that I'm also going to do a blue cheese dipping sauce for this now that dipping sauce is a recipe in its own I'm going to be over there cooking while I'm running in between here and there and everywhere so it could be kind of funny I have got my sports shoes on I nearly put like my sports gear on my, like my fitness gear and like doing stuff in my fitness gear but yeah no so the last recipe is uh, halved mussels now they're really easy to cut so don't be scared to half them I don't like a whole mussel it's just too chunky and you can't chew it and there's a lady you know you just a half of one's good the other good thing is that you can kind of serve it in the little shell which makes it look a little bit sophisticated uh, but basically that's just butter whole pile of garlic because the more garlic in there the better and a whole pile of lime and chili salt so not that one I keep picking up the wrong one that that one so a whole pile of that in there now I have actually obviously pre-done this so the longer it sits there the better it's going to get obviously in the fridge but uh anyway now I just have to point out my tea towel that my mum bought me it's very pretty she was sick of me wiping my hands on those cruddy old things I'm going to move that thing away because I'm going to muck that up I'm really sorry about that didn't intentionally do that right so basically I am going to have 10 minutes to do all of that I better have a sip of wine because and put it aside because knowing me I'll chuck that across the room hang on have I got people there have I got people following comment ask me comments I'll do my best um, follow us share like our page we need to get people watching because something disastrous will probably happen either my wine will go flying the oil will catch on fire I'll burn something something has got to go wrong in this 10 minutes have I got a question there or a comment? Nothing yet? Okay. We right. start the timer. You tell me we're going to start the timer. I'm going to tell you. And hey, just, just so you know, I do have like a mic cord between my legs hanging out. So chances are I'm going to fall over. But anyway, let's go. You ready? Okay. Okay. Ready? What? I'm going to get sort of subtly ready. You know you're going now. Oh, I'm going. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So. I'm going to put my chicken in here, my chicken that's been uh, resting and marinating, etc. I'm going to start that. Now I need eight minutes for this to cook. So just while they've got some seal on them, I'm going to drop more in best I can. Chances are we may have raw chicken. I'll just do what I can. Okay. I'm going to fit one more guy in there. So. I am now going to do my popcorn. I'm cheating. I'm using microwave popcorn, but I think it will give me a better result. Minute 40. Right, now I'm over here to my pan. I'm turning it on, making sure thing. Butter, 25 grams of butter. I need that guy to melt. Oh, look, I'm even being tidy. One minute, oh. One minute down. Right, okay. So now I've preheated my pan, I've preheated my oil. I did that when I got up to get the drink 20 minutes into the game. I've got everything here. I'm going to form my popcorn, get a little bit ready. I'm chucking in my allspice. Oh, sorry, my pepper. It's going to be noisy, guys. My cinnamon and my cumin. Oh, crumbs. My cameraman's going to. Oh, Rada says hi. Welcome me. back, Rada. Thank you for joining hey us again. Hey, guys. So I'm going to get that one ready. I'm going to leave my mussels. I want to do them. I'm hoping to do them maybe at about the five minute mark. How's my butter going? So we're doing how many different dishes in 10 minutes? Essentially we're, six. So six dishes in 10 minutes. We're pretending that this is the half time in the game. We're going fast. On Saturday night, we've got uh, 10 minutes to go. Rather than just getting chips and dips and things, you can actually do something which is a little bit special. So I feel like I'm in a fish and chip shop. And we've got the timer going over here. And I haven't pre-done this. I actually don't know if I'll make it or not. Keely says, Kira. Hey, Keely. So who, who do you reckon is going to win on Saturday night? Have the Lions got a chance or is it, uh, is it going to be the ABs all the way? It's got to be the ABs. I can hear, I can hear the popcorn going. The popcorn uh, going, the chicken, the chicken sizzling. sizzling. 
sizzling away. I'll probably put too many in there. I'll just but, there you go. Okay. Right. Popcorn's out. We don't want burnt popcorn. Seven minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, I'm not in to go. Popcorn's coming out. Right. Now you could make more popcorn than what I'm going to do, but I'm only going to make so much because I just don't want to waste popcorn. Okay, so this is my first going. Oh, hang on, my butter's going. You can hear the butter going. So, on butter is melted. I'm taking it off the heat. I'm just going to cool it. I'm going to turn my heat down a little bit to a medium temperature. This could all go horribly wrong. And I'm chucking in a tablespoon of flour. Which could be fun. This is just like a basic roux sauce, everybody. There's no cleverness to it. So this is the blue cheese sauce? So this is a blue cheese sauce, but I'm starting off with the roux and adding the blue cheese. If you don't like blue cheese, add something else. I've got 150 ml of milk. I'm only going to add half of that. We've got the chicken bubbling and away. And I'm going to put that back on there. the heat. Okay, we're at 6 minutes and 30 seconds Okay, to let's go. see how I go. Now that I've stirred all the flour and butter in, chucking in the rest of that. I'm also going to use my really happy little guy. For World Selfie Day. Hey guys, enter that competition. We put it up yesterday. You can even go like this if you don't want to enter it. There's only like two or three people entered and we're giving away a prize pack. Go, have a look, Facebook. So I'm just stirring that and unfortunately you kind of have to stir that a lot. Oh my goodness, that chicken's looking really good. Right, back to the chili and lime salt popcorn that I'm making. This is my favourite. Right, cameraman's favourite. Now, popcorn's not so hot that it's going to melt my bag. So I'm just going to pop. Now, about a tablespoon of Parmesan cheese there. And we want the flavours <laughs> to be all over it. Sorry if that's loud, everybody. Much better than just buttered popcorn. Right, so. So what was that one? That is the lots of spice. Now, I've got to chuck these on. Yum. Okay, so I'm chucking in my prawns. How's your sauce? Whoa, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Lucky I got a cameraman who can give me advice at the same time. Now, with a roux, you have to cook it. You can't just make sure it's thick. You actually have to cook it out for about a minute. We've got about a yeah, four and a half minutes to go. Okay, let's keep yeah, going with these guys. So we've got two popcorns so far. We've got two popcorns. I'm going to do a third popcorn in a minute. I just want to get these guys in the pan. It's like, like one of those shipping programs. So my half the mussels, you want them face down. We, we actually want that butter to, to cook out, look. And we just want that to become crispy. I've got my chicken going here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Four not minutes long. to go. Not long. So what we're doing for the people who are just joining us, we okay, are cooking seven Okay guys who are just seven, joining us, I'm dishes. doing seven dishes in like ten minutes. Woo! Trying not to trip up over that at the same time. Now I want my roux, the most important thing with this sauce is I want it to cook out and I want it to not be cloudy. It has to be, when the flour's cooked, it almost gets shiny. So, it's good, it's co it is cooking, it's quite a thick sauce, which is nice. See how it's not, it's starting to get shiny now, but it's not quite, I'm still not happy, I'm still cooking that flour. And I'm just gonna do a quick taste test. It's nearly there. No, it's nearly there. We're okay. Now, last popcorn. How many minutes? Two! Ah! Three minutes okay. to go. Wow, three. Okay, so I'm putting the rest of the popcorn in the bag. Chicken's squirting at me and it's really hot. Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. Okay, so this is the butter chicken. 
So that's just, just our standard butter chicken. You don't have to do anything standard special. Standard butter chicken mix. Your friends will go, oh, damn. Sorry, everyone. It's probably loud. Okay. Butter chicken popcorn. So, so far we've got three things we can serve up, everybody, and our open bag of chips. So, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to check my roux. Okay, guys, like, over. share, ask me questions. I will try. Any questions out there? I'll let, uh, okay. let our chef know. I'm chucking in the uh, blue cheese. Okay, we've got two minutes to go. You're on the two-minute okay. mark. We're right. Tell me when it's one minute, please. Yep. Get a plate up. Yeah, I'm plating. Now, okay. I'm just Do you think she'll do it, everybody? Do you think she's going to actually make this and be able to make it back? To the um, to the game in time, pretending like as ever before. Ten, this is half time. We've got ten minutes to do. You've done a lot of preparation to get to get going for this point. The chicken okay. is chicken looking is lovely. Out and the draining. The chicken. I'm gonna start. And this is the worst thing. These guys are really hot. Oh my goodness, they look so nice. So serve them in the shells, guys. Just flip them, serve them. You can do this on the barbecue if you don't want to do it inside. It's Send not raining. Your partner out, you know. You can actually with the um, with the green up mussels. Once you've had one, you can use the other one, the empty as one, a as a spoon. Scoop, as a spoon. Can. So you just scoop out the. Uh, so it just as an excuse to have two, basically. Whoop. So there you go. So green lip mussels. What, what what was in that again? Okay, th this is just the um, chili and lime salt. Chili and lime salt. Butter and butter. a ridiculous amount of garlic. Look, I'm even going to have time to make that look pretty and unplug that. Oh, look. How am I going? Oh, sorry, 35 seconds. Oh, <laughs> Forgot. Jeez. <laughs> Got caught up. 30, 30 seconds. We'll disown him. I got caught up and looking at the muscles. Okay, nice. I just got to blend you got this. 20 seconds. Blend this in. 20 seconds. Okay. 18. 17, 16, 15, Countdown song, 14, guys. 13, Hopefully 12, your friends 11, got you a beer. 10, 9, 8, 6, so, oh wait, 6, 5, I can't count, 5, 4, come on, 3, 2, oh, 1, do this. I am the champion, my friends, and I oh, oh, need a drink of off. someone. Done. There we go. Made it, guys. If so, I can do it, you can. So take us through what happened then. Okay. Hello, Red Max. Says hello. Whew. I need a lie down after that one. So six dishes in ten minutes. Keely says, well done. Thanks. Pat my arm on the back. So <laughs> you can either serve up your bag of chips, which is fine. You can have a bag of chips as well. Impress your friends. Three different flavors of popcorn, and we're not through. just chucking stuff on. This one is I've got allspice, cayenne pepper, cinnamon, ground cumin, and mm. a really nice sprinkle really nice. of parmesan, finely grated parmesan. This guy is just straight out chili and lime sea salt, one of our new products that's hit the market. If you can't find it, then it's just flown off the shelves. Keep asking for it, it will be there. And this one is the butter chicken popcorn. Now this was all done with my microwave popcorn. The butter chicken is lovely. Yeah, butter chicken's really good. Have some. Mm. Mm. I did use a butter popcorn, like, what is it? Actually, I used triple butter. <laughs> Never have enough butter. Now, but our big dishes, and this is, this is where you want your friends to be happy. So, we have buffalo wings that are done with this Moroccan Ras El Hanout. Ras El Hanout. There you go. Uh, spice. So, what we, we manage in my deep fryer, we managed to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, that's not bad. 10. Most people would get two each. And we've done a blue cheese sauce. Now, that was made from scratch. I love blue cheese, so... Oh, that's nice. Yep. And it's hot. It's nice in winter. Mm. Finally, we've done a halved mussel, greenlit mussel, 
with garlic, butter, and again, the uh, chili and lime. Sarah, Sarah says, it all looks so yum. Mm. Well, this is dinner. I almost wish it was game time. I did that in 10 minutes, guys. 10 minutes, you can too. And I think I had like one sip of wine in the 10 minutes too. I'm feeling pretty impressed. Honestly, like I made the sauce on the stove. We had everything ready to go. It was easy. And in fact, yep, I've done everything. I was just seeing if I actually maybe missed something. I didn't even burn myself on the oil, which I was sure I was going to do. Just beautiful. So to wrap it up, I will put all the recipes up on this post. I really want to see you guys try a little bit harder if you can than a packet of chips, uh, especially at half time because that's right when everybody gets some munchies, you're excited or you've worked all the energy out in the first half of the game. And hey, go the All Blacks. Am I allowed to say that? I just did. <laughs>